Hey, this is Dave, and it's Tuesday, September 30th, 2014, and sadly Ebola has made its way to the United States. I suppose it was inevitable since our government is incompetent enough to allow people to travel to our country from infected areas. Anyhow, the Center for Disease Control has some tips to avoid getting infected in areas where an outbreak has occurred. It's on their website, and it's very brief, but let's do a brief overview. The first uh, recommendation is to wash your hands frequently or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. In addition to that, I think you should probably wear rubber gloves if you're in uh, one of these areas. Uh, the, their second recommendation is avoid contact with blood and bodily fluids of any person, particularly someone who is sick. Uh, this also includes saliva so and, and sweat too, so be careful who you shake hands with because if they got sweaty hands and they're sick, you may get sick too. Uh, the third thing is do not handle items that may have come into contact with an infected person's blood or bodily fluids. Um, that shouldn't be much of a problem. Uh, fourth one, do not touch the body of someone who has died from Ebola. We're Americans, we don't touch dead bodies to begin with. Uh, the next one is do not touch bats and non-human primates or their blood and fluids and do not touch or eat raw meat prepared from these animals. Well, I don't really deal with bats or non-human primates on a daily basis, so this pretty much doesn't apply in the United States. Um, avoid hospitals where Ebola patients are being treated. Well, that's pretty much uh, common sense. Uh, seek medical care immediately if you develop a fever greater than 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit and any of the other following symptoms present themselves. Uh, headache, muscle pain, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, or unexplained bruising or bleeding. Uh, I personally think everyone now should just go out and get some rubber gloves and a surgical mask just in case something uh, this gets really out of hand just so you're prepared. Uh, hopefully this is going to be the only uh, Ebola case in our country, but you never know what could happen. It could get a lot worse, so protect yourself, and thanks for watching.